Hello once again and welcome to Political Dharma with Alan Zundell. I am recording this on the last day of 2022. In fact, I was planning to record it a little earlier than this, uh, sometime earlier this week, but I just flew in today after having my flight delayed because of the big ice storm about a week ago. And so this is my last opportunity of the year to try to wrap up this year on this show and give you a preview of what I'm thinking of doing in 2023. My last show was over seven months ago. And in that show, I presented what I called a new political strategy, which I have since abandoned, found it unworkable. And that's been the story of my life. I keep casting about for a political strategy that can address what I see as the fundamental flaw in our society. Among the many flaws, the primary one is that our work organizations are created in such a way that their primary purpose is to create profit for investors, which can be detrimental to society in general and the environment and workers. So we need a different basis for a political economic system, big, tall order. I've been thinking about this for 45 years and trying different things and failing at them. I've learned, for one thing, that our system, our political system, is very resistant to movements to somehow move beyond capitalism in its deliberate design. So we need new strategies. I think we also need the basis for a new socialist philosophy, not new, um, totally new, but something for the this century that tries to work through the problems of earlier philosophies. I'm thinking specifically of the two main traditions of socialism, which would be the Marxist uh, viewpoint of, well, a lot of the Marxist philosophy. There's problems that have been pointed out with Marx's ideas by many people over the last century or so, although much of what he had to say still retains a lot of value. And his main critics, Another tradition was the anarchist socialist tradition, also called libertarian socialism, which I have leaned toward throughout my life, more of a, not a, not a fully developed philosophy when I, uh, when I was younger, but more of a, I'm sorry, I got it really early today to catch the flight from it, so I'm not quite as articulate as I'd like to be, but the two main traditions, Marxism and libertarian socialism, I've been gratified to find out recently that a lot of thinkers are moving in the same directions that my thinking has been going in, trying to find a reconciliation between those traditions and draw on other modes of thinking. For me in particular, uh, say the nonviolent tradition of Mohandas Gandhi and his method of organizing, as well as spirituality, ethics, what you would call the uh, subjectivity, our subjectivity, creating or not creating, but nurturing within ourselves and mutually with other people that we work with, our best capacities as human beings. We not only have to change our institutions, but we have to take our uh, characters, which have been developed in a capitalist economy like this, and create within ourselves the most humane aspects of it. I think for that, we need to draw upon ethics, spirituality, psychology, and stuff like that. So this is the development of a socialism for this century that I want to talk about in the coming year, because I think there can be there the, the basis for a larger movement, I, a larger organization than just me. <laughs> Other people are thinking of some along the same lines, and I think a lot of folks are searching for something like that. Up to more to recently, I haven't felt like there have been other people that are thinking quite along the same lines as me. So I've been aligning myself with people who I agree with in a lot of respects, but have some disagreements with. What I want to do now is just present my thinking on this, talk to other people who are thinking along these lines, and use that as the basis for my show going forward. I am engaged in other things as well, but at my age, I'm thinking... I want to get some of these ideas out there because my efforts in other areas, uh, especially trying to change our electoral system to make an opening for socialist parties to actually have some ability to influence our society. That, you know, like, why am I doing that? Why am I trying to change our electoral process? 
it's just to give a voice to these other currents. And I want to articulate those currents because I think that by the time we're able to change our electoral system, I might not be around anymore. So at the same time, I'm working on changing our electoral system. A lot of states have already changed theirs in ways that creates openings. I want to talk about that as well. Um, so I'm kind of descending now into incoherence because I'm tired, haven't <laughs> got a really early today. Just wanted to say hi, let you know I'm still around. I'm planning something for 2023. I know this isn't going to reach too many people right away because it's been so long since I've had a program. So if you do happen to see this and you're interested in what I might be talking about going forward, please do subscribe to my show and click whatever kind of notification button you have so that you will be aware when my future shows come online and you can take a look at them. That's it for now. Just giving you a slight preview, talk about where I'm at. And I will, in my next show, I promise I will be a little better organized. Eh, why am I going to promise it? Who knows? I'll try. Uh, so thanks for listening in. I hope you're as interested in hearing about this as I am in talking about this. I hope you give me some feedback on it in the comments on wherever you're looking at this or wherever you can find me. I think I still have a Facebook page and I got a YouTube channel that you can put comments on. Uh, so happy new year. We'll see what develops as January rolls around. Thanks a lot for listening in and goodbye for now.